and welcome back to Ballancraig Farm. My name is Eddie and this is my blog. Today is May the 19th uh, and uh, we're going to be creating some hay. Yeah, we've got our tether, our little sip tether here. Uh, we're on the Massey. Uh, the TW15, uh, if you uh, saw the last video, we had some problems with its steering. And uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. It went to the shop. Uh, they found mainly that it had lost some of its power. So uh, that's come back and we've, we've cut field 19 since. Uh, and they, they think they've fixed that problem now. Uh, but yeah, it's one of the nice things about this little Massey. Is that it can run this tether quite nicely. Although, that's a bit weird. Ah, okay. I've now checked it. Um, I've just discovered I had it on the wrong setting. So I should have had it as a uh, as a tether instead I had it as a wind, wind rower. So I've, uh, I've reset it up now and we're, we're good and we're going. It does chuck it a lot further though when you're doing that. Yeah, it definitely chucks it into the field because it doesn't doesn't act as a wind rower in that instance so I'm glad we're sort of chucking it away from the edge of the field but yeah it does sort of intermingle it with the grass so it's going to be slightly harder to do but not too difficult I've forgotten it did that I forgot it did wind row and Ted at the same time There we are. There seems to be. Wow. It seems to just collect. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. That was a bit weird. Yeah, it's uh, it seems to be getting jammed up a little bit and then just creating big piles which isn't the end of the world but does us fine so we're just going to keep going around like this at the moment and then we'll probably go around the other way it does seem to be doing interesting stuff after all is all good yeah we're going to do two rounds on the headland then we're going to go up and down hopefully that will then uh, make some nice piles it's already beginning to dry out which is quite good but we do we are going to need to go round and wind row afterwards because uh, it won't create that neat set of piles. Oh, it's doing the same thing down. Doesn't seem to like down here. I think we're suddenly going to get another lump. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to slow down a bit because I think I'm jamming it up. That's better. We drive too fast, it, it sends everything a little bit too lally. Right, so one more and then we'll start going up and down. So this is our first up and down row. We are yeah, collecting hay into it, so.
basically want to try and uh, rework over that pile. You have to keep a decent speed, otherwise you, you cause all sorts of issues. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you're not going too fast, so the whole thing doesn't get clogged up and create those massive piles that we've had. Yeah, it moves faster. It's it's very dependent on how much we're uh, we're doing it, how how hard we're on the accelerator. So, kind of want to try and make sure that we're not too bad. Well, luck, this will create piles that we can uh, we can easily bail up. See how we go. I don't know if my baler is wide enough for that. The lady is a good baler. I don't know if it's that good. Make sure we capture all of this. I want to go at a speed that is uh, reasonable. Ted's out to the side. It should allow us to make windrows quite easily. From it too. But it's uh, it's making sure that we yeah, it seems to be a set speed. If you can go at the right speed, you're okay. It's because of the way uh, this old tractor works. There's a lot less control on it. There we go. Yeah, it's an old piece of kit and it's an old tractor. So the combination tends to mean that uh, the more you squeeze your accelerator, the more or the faster the piece of machinery is going to go. Which there's a lot more power control on modern tractors. Even something like the T-Dub has a little bit better, which is which is why it was odd with what was happening with the power steering. Now, there's definitely an issue that when we applied the power to the mower, it then had an issue. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the revs nice and steady. Try not to make it have too many issues really. Hopefully in all this we'll be able get some good hay out of it. I am fairly desperate to get all this grass sorted before the rain sets in later this week. We've been lucky so far. I thought it was going to rain the other day and it didn't. Uh, and we would have lost a lot of this had it. Uh, and I'm just hoping that it's going to stay off for a little bit longer. Swiftly running out of days of spring. I don't need to get everything. All this done. There we go. Coming along nicely. Ah, 
So it's chucking it quite a way over at the moment. It seems to be doing it into basically two rows. I think we are going to have to win row this as well. It can be quite hard to see some of the grass in this. We do have a vague idea. And there is some darker, you can kind of see the darker grass in amongst the lighter cut stuff. It's that little bit harder to see the, uh, the hay. But we do seem to be creating some uh, vague windrows at the moment, which is good news. So we can get this bailed up fairly quickly, I think. Shouldn't need to re-windrow it. We go at a nice steady pace. It seems that it, uh, it behaves itself. I'd forgotten that. It's one of the things you learn farming, actually. It's not wise to rush things. Invariably, if you rush things, things tend to go wrong. And, we, and things going wrong on a farm means one of two things. Either it's going to cost you money, or it's going to end up having uh, some health risk or some injury happening. So we try to avoid it. Job gets done when it gets done, is the thing. There we go. A nice steady pace, and you can see it is it is basically created wind row. As long as it's wide, uh, as long as our baler can take it, we'll be good. I don't think we're going to get a massive number of bales off this field, but then we we tend to spend most of the year building up our hay collection. We uh, we don't tend to feed a lot of hay to the uh, to the sheep and cows over the summer and the spring tend to save that for the winter months although of course we do use a little bit for some mixed ration there we go I am leaving field 10 slightly longer than these two, letting it have a little bit longer and hopefully a, a larger yield, but we'll probably get less cuts off it. And I'm thinking next year, or uh, come August, or uh, sorry, autumn time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plough up field 10, make another uh, arable field out of it. I think that will be very useful to us. The money we make off that, we could always buy the bales in, I think. along the line of the previous run and just sort of creates a decent wind rope that we can uh, then use which is the advantage of this it does, it does kind of wind row the, uh, the hay up at the same time oh wow we are massively off course you can see that I want to 
leave any grass. At all. Yeah. I kind of going a little bit against how we mowed this. But it's all good. It's all. little tractor is fantastic still going after all these years and still does a really good job it's even more impressive than the TW little thing does exactly what you ask of it pretty much all the time and it has less to go wrong with it so it's actually got heavier steering it's not got power steering it's about to think. No, feeling the weight of it. There we go. Far off the end. Ooh. It'll be up here though. Do have a big kink in it there by the looks of things. I wonder why it's easier to see it from this direction than it is the other. Maybe it's because we've uh, we've got an edge this way, and not uh, and not the other way. The other way, we know we've got to pick up the road that we've uh, just driven along. But yeah, it's definitely easier to see the stuff that we have to do this way than the other way. Got my eye in on it this time. I'm looking ahead a bit. I wasn't so much last time. There we go. Get this finished and get this done. 
I will have something to feed our cows and sheep. This now gets a lot narrower. And we start getting it too. done along the end here. I'm a bit stuffy today I've just realised so I'm, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit nasally. Do you get a bit of hay fever from time to time and doing this job is not exactly the best way to uh, avoid that. I have taken my tablets so I guess it's just overwhelming it a little bit. Slide. There we go. So I'm going to leave this for a few days now, and what we'll do is I will get the. Uh, I'll get field 9 wind road and then what we'll probably do next time is bail field 9 uh, because we need to get that all done and dusted and then we, that can be while this is drying out hopefully the rain will stay off for a few days as a result Can only keep our fingers crossed. Could be very bad. Right. There we go. I think probably two more runs should cover it. We are. That's catching the bit in the corner. And all done. Let's just jump out quickly and go and have a look. So we do have, looking down the field, we do have windrows with this. So we will uh, we'll get the baler on that and get those bailed up once they've dried. Jump back to the tractor. Uh, we'll turn off our bit. I'm going to head down to field 9. Uh, quickest way, actually. It's for me to head this way. This gate. Pull out onto the road. Go. That's the gate. And away 
here we go. So field nine is just around the corner here. The other entrance to it is at the top of field seven, but we would have to drive over our crop to do it. So it's better to come in this gateway. There we go. Right, there we are. Let's see, we've got this all already cut. Turn the tractor off here and close the gate. And uh, and that's where I think I'm going to leave you guys. So, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.